Mong Kok, this is the place that has been mentioned so many times in the reporting of Hong Kong protests. Today, the community is working to restore public order. Restaurants and stores are reopened. We can see people enjoying food. We can also see people are shopping. But still, we can sense the not yet subsided atmosphere from large scale vandalism just weeks ago. Protesters set up barricades and throw bricks in the middle of the road to disrupt traffic. And those bricks are actually from the sidewalk. They are piled up from the sidewalk. And as you can tell, the road workers have put on another layer of cement to make sure the road is flat. Metro stations are targets. As you can see, the light of the entrance is smashed by protesters. And that's why this entrance or this gate is still locked. Over here, we can see some workers are repairing the entrance gates of the metro station. Outside the gates, we can see ashes and sometimes debris because protesters use bamboo branches to set a fire at the gates. The MTR website shows the real-time information of the metro station's entrances that are still being closed. The number is reducing as workers are working around the clock to resume operation. And it looks like the electric box was set on fire during the protest. You can imagine how strong the blast was and it could put threat on passers-by. The biggest consequence is the power system of the community. For example, the male function of the traffic lights. Because there's no traffic lights, people have to wait for the road being cleared to cross the street. You can hardly imagine this is a busy crossroad without any traffic lights. Both the vehicles and walkers are trying to put this in order. Mong Kok is one of the most densely populated districts, not only in Hong Kong, but also in the rest of the world, with a blending of commercial areas and residential units. The protest has brought huge effect to the pace of this community. Will there be another round this coming weekend? We don't know, but that's always around people's discussion.